Hi guys, Jordan O'Neill here, um, Wheelcastle Dagger Inn. So, i done a video uh, previous to this one on um, measuring out some nine and paper for a feature wall. So, um, basically I'm going to cross line this wall uh, for a, f a, a lower IC wallpaper, basically. So it has to be cross lined. I showed you in my previous video the preparation. Uh, it needs four sheets, four and a half sheets, basically. A four full sheets on the table here. So what I'm going to do is, um, the wall's ready to go. Um, I'm going to paste two sheets. And uh, so when I paste one, give it a few minutes to uh, soak in, I'll do another one. Um, I do know, and I'm not being judgmental, that the decorators, you know, would paste eight sheets at a time and five sheets and all this here. It's totally wrong. You know, you can, paper can over soak, it can stretch, it does cause a lot of problems. Always read the instructions. It tells you to soak in time, five minutes, ten minutes. Um, if you're an amateur, my, uh, for me, uh, my advice is take your time, paste one sheet, let it soak in for whatever the instructions tell you and put it up. Because if you paste two or three sheets and you're taking your time, you know, it could take you 10 minutes or whatever, if you know, to put a sheet on and the second sheet will be really soft, it can tear on you easy, stuff like that there, you know. So, um, I'm going to paste these uh, two strips here of lining paper. I'll put two strips on. So, I say there's four basically going onto this wall. I'll show you how to put two on the first one along the ceiling and, and then the second one. And um, so, every sheet here is basically the same, you know, uh, uh, you know, you hang it the same. So, no point doing the whole wall. But I'll show you how to put on two strips. Uh, and what I will show you here is. Uh, which is very important on the first strip, okay? So, as you can see, you have a cornice here, okay? And I put my square lap along here, like that, and it's perfectly straight. So I'm gonna run my um, first sheet along this cornice here, so it will be straight. But sometimes if the ceiling is running off, what you need to do is, so line of paper is only about 22 inches in width. Uh, so what you need to do is measure probably about 20 inches from the cornice down and strike a line across and allow a wee bit going over the cornice, the trim. So it does have to be straight, you know. But I say I'm going to run off this cornice here because it is straight. I'll just set this here, like so. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste a few strips here, show you how to go about it. Um, what I use when I'm pacing, okay, again, read instructions. You have to use uh, manufacturer's instructions for what paste to use. I'm just using a water-based uh, a paste, you mix it with water, basically sulfate. And laying in paper, you know, you have to let it soften. And that's uh, ready mix, in my opinion, it's too heavy for it. Uh, it's the same with the lower IC wallpaper. So I'm using a ready mix once, so it softens the line of paper and uh, put it on for you. So uh, I use a roller putting it on as well. Some prefer to use a brush, but um, I've been using a roller for a long time and it's quicker and you do get into a wee routine with it. So I'll just bring this down here like so. So you can see there, um, there we go. strips are on the table and I will paste two okay um, keep this edge here on the edge of the table and this edge will uh, be on top of your other two sheets or three sheets there sorry three sheets Just give it a nice even coat, just like so. And what I 
will say is to don't don't be afraid of that pool. You know, put put plenty on. You know, don't platter, but you know, don't be really stretching. Put a bit on. Good, uh, even cold. Sheet, a couple of feet, just give a wee fold like so. Okay, and then just same fold again. And just keep the edges, you know, uh, together. Okay, and just bring it back. Again, another fold there. Like so. And there we go. Just till the end of that sheet. So there's three, um, three folds in this sheet here. So as you can see, there's your three, and this wee bottom piece, just pop that in there like so. And that's your first one there. So I'll do another one. That's your second one. And as I say, this here is 1200 grade line of paper. different grades. I think it starts quite low, around 600, and it goes up to I think 2000, maybe more, but I was a little between these 1200. 1200 is just great. It's thick enough. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. In my opinion, it's probably just right. your first fold, like so, and fold it about the same again. to the end of the paper. And there's your last fold there. And again, just get that wee piece there. Sure. 
Thanks so much, Brian for a bucket of clean water. So after you hang your uh, sheet, just get a wee wipe down, wipe any excess paste off it. Make sure the surface is kept clean. Uh, okay. So there's two sh uh, sheets pasted. Uh, as I say, this cornice is perfectly straight, so I'm going to follow my edge along this cornice here for the first strip. Trim each corner, give it a wee wipe down, and then put the second sheet on. So, I'll just move this along here so that you can see what I'm doing. So, like I said in my last video, where that's a straight edge for trimming the paper. That's a spatula. And as you can see, I did say these walls here, all this bird plaster and filler, there was a lot of film in this wall. So it's all sized, it's dry, and ready for the laying paper. So, just bring all these steps back. First strip, and we're ready. So you can see where I had to fold there, you know. Um, this was the last part here, where I folded it. So you, you start where I started to fold, and open it as you go along, okay? So just pull that piece back like so. Put the edge of the corners, just lay it up. And just level it with the second hand first of all. Screw here, which is staying on for a mirror. So just get your scissors and pop a wee hole through your damage kit. And as you can see there, just pop it through that empty screw if you can see it. It's nice and even, there's no kinks in the line of paper. There you are. So there's two wee screws, or three screws in this wall here for a big mirror. Again, just pop the wee sitter through there. There you go.
just move it over into this wee corner piece here. So you can see uh, in the corner there, uh, I'm just going to trim it. I'll push it into the corner, trim it, move back this corner. snap plates, uh, do, do snap them regular, you want a bit sharp blade for trimming. Just went up onto this corner so we've got a couple of metal, just trim that piece that off as well. Over this corner here. Okay, just turn that around. There you go. As I said, just tuck it in there. A couple of inches will burn in that wall. Make sure it's top down. Nice and tight. Get your straight edge and just bring it down. There you go. Nothing to it. Straightforward. Just give that paste a wee wipe on the wall. Now. All we need to do is move these steps out of the way now and wait a second. Strip on. This is where I need my glasses to get the join tight. Now, if obviously this is where cross laying in here for uh, a finished wallpaper, so see the join, it doesn't have to be perfectly butted. You can keep a wee mill of a gap if you want. You know, in fact, that they do suggest that. Uh, as long as it's pretty tight to the uh, your next sheet, you know. So there you go again, that's where I started the fold. There's three folds. Pop that one out and join it. Both. Yeah, so just let's get it join up there. So get it started. And just heat it out with your hand first of all. Make sure there's no kinks in it. Just bring it across there like so. There you go. And just brush it out. I say the, the, the first sheet's always the hardest, you know. So get it on way and the rest will just flow in for you. There we go. Just move that over there and then the rest of your wall.
finish with the edge. And just trim that off. And get a sponge. Again, very important. Just give it a little bit of wipe down. Just wipe off the excess paste here on the wall. And just give that a little joint away. There we go. Just pop in uh, around this wee corner here. So, just as we edge here, the trim. And again, just make sure it's pushed in tight after you turn it. You know, when our bubbles are there. Again, keep your sponge a wee rinse and wipe off the excess paste. So if you just look behind me, there's, there's two strips on there. So the first strip basically went, the cornice was perfectly straight, so I just followed that with a cornice. Brush it out, trimmed each corner, and there's your second strip on there. It's not important to get those joints really perfectly butted as we're putting a finished paper on. You know, and I do suggest you can leave a wee gap, small gap there. Uh, so, I put the Laura Icy wallpaper over this here. So, a couple of more strips to go on here. Uh, the ceiling's finished. So, um, the color is called Midland Pink. It's a fire on ball color going on to these three walls. Uh, the door frame, the door, the skirt, and it's going in a, uh, it's going in a white satin. And uh, I'll do that first. So I'll get the walls finished, I'll get the woodwork finished, and then I'll do a wee video on the Laura Ashley wallpaper. So, two more strips to go on here. Um, if you have any questions about anything, the preparation, the paste, what line of paper to use, anything like that, by all means, send me a message. Okay, thanks for watching.